watching Global Daily Mirror News Alert. Oil companies announced another price hike effective Tuesday morning. Filipina Shell Petroleum Corporation and Seoul Philippines Incorporated announced that they will hike prices per liter of gasoline by 80 centavos, diesel by 2 pesos and 70 centavos, and kerosene by 2 pesos and 90 centavos. Clean Fuel will implement the same adjustments except for kerosene, which it does not carry. According to the Department of Energy, latest data year to date total adjustments stand at a net increase of 15 pesos and 85 centavos per liter of gasoline gasoline and 26 pesos and 75 centavos per liter for kerosene as of October 11, 2023. The fifth anniversary of the liberation of Marawi City from terrorists was commemorated on Monday, October 17. A wreath-laying ceremony was held at the Marawi Pylon at the Libingan ng Mga Bayani in Taguig City. The commemoration was led by Presidential Advisor on Peace and Reconciliation and Unity, Secretary Carlito Galvez Jr. The military host was Philippine Army Inspector General Major General Jose Ariel Niembra. A total of 6,260 families have been affected by tropical cyclone Neneng with international name Nesak. According to the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council on Monday, the affected population was reported in 86 barangays in Ilocos, Cagayan, and Cordillera. Meanwhile, 59 flooding incidents and the landslide were reported in Cagayan. At least 29 roads and 12 bridges in Ilocos, Cagayan, and Cordillera are still not passable to motorists, according to NDRRMC. Power outages were experienced across 25 cities and municipalities in Ilocos and Cagayan. The southwesterly surface wind flow is affecting the southern sections of Luzon and Visayas. According to Pag-asa, Occidental Mindoro, Palawan, and Western Visayas will have cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms. Meanwhile, the track of Typhoon Nesat, formerly Neneng, is still affecting northern Luzon. Pag-asa says, Ilocos Norte, Ilocos Sur will have cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms. Typhoon Nesat was last located 430 kilometers west of extreme northern Luzon. As for Metro Manila and the rest of the country, localized thunderstorms are possible in the afternoon or evening. Netizens can't get enough of Michael V and his children's photo. A picture of Michael V and his children that clearly shows how much they resemble one another has the internet community in fits of laughter. Bitoy originally shared the image on his Instagram account in June where he was pictured next to his twin-looking children, Milo and Yanni. While this was going on, some Facebook users made amusing comments on the image, referring to Bitoy, Itoy, and Bebang as members of the Bubble Camp. Bitoy from the Multiverse of Madness, according to another. Meanwhile, Cookie Monster's real name has been revealed. Are you curious about Cookie Monster's real name? The well-known Sesame Street cookie eating mascot revealed his real name on Twitter, which is Seed. His real name was initially made public in 2004 song, The First Time Me Eat Cookie from Sesame Street. Is Cookie Monster's real name Sid? This was one of the questions that the Sesame Street cast addressed in an interview that appeared on Wired in 2017. And he said it is that Seed Monster is Cookie Monster's real name. And that's the latest for this hour. Subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram and visit www.globaldailymirror.com. This has been Ice Martinez. Good day.